Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a get ready with me just to talk to you guys about what's new with my life and what's going to be going on in the next couple months. Just because I don't really talk to you guys about my personal life. So I just thought I should just sit down, film, and do a get ready with me. So if you guys want to hear what I'm going to talk about, basically if you guys want to know who I am and all that, then keep on watching. Let's go! Um, I am going to DMAC right now, which is a college here in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, it's basically a community college, so if you guys know what a community college is, it's basically a college where you can go and get your associate's degree before your bachelor degree. So it's, it's a two-year college, and you go there, you take your classes, you get your associate's degree, and a lot of times people stop there, and they just um, get their associate's degree, and then do whatever they want, because a lot of jobs nowadays are just needing like a, some sort of college. You don't need like a full bachelor's degree. And so I'm going to DMAC and I'm getting my associate's degree. And then after I am done with my associate's degree, so I will be graduating in the spring of 2019. Well, at the end of it, I should say, um, or in the summer, depending on how many more classes I have to take. But then after I am done with that, I am going to be go going back to DMAC and I'm going to be getting my interior design certificate. So I basically want to stay in Des Moines and flip houses, which that will be a lot of fun for me because I enjoy that personally. So if you guys know like flipper or fixer upper, that's kind of what I want to do. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun doing that and it's just going to take a couple years. And then after I am done getting my associates or not my associates degree, um, I'm done getting my interior design certificate. I am going to be going, um, uh, and I'm going to be going to go get my realtor's license. I think that's what it's called. I'm not for sure what it's really called. But I'm just going to go get my realtor's license there. Not at DMAC, but I'm just going to go take a course. And I'm just going to get that. Just so when flipping houses and stuff, I can do like the retail price and all of that. And I don't have to hire someone else to find the price and all that for me. Which is going to save me a lot of time from finding a person and disagreeing and all of that um so i'm excited to do that so that's my life with college so you guys basically wanted to know the reason why i haven't been filming as much and that is the main reason why i will be focusing on school first and then after i am done with school i'm gonna focus a lot on youtube on march 9th so i'm pulling up my calendar yeah so i have spring break from march 10th through March 17th or March 16th I should say um so I get a whole week for spring break and that's when my original spring break is for DMAC and so my dad my sister and I were all going to go to Chicago together we thought it would be a perfect trip just to do the three of us because we've never been to Chicago well my dad's been to Chicago but he hasn't been in like 15 years so it was just gonna be us three going to Chicago and it's gonna be super fun um we were gonna go for like three days just explore, do tourist things. But then we realized my sister goes to Northwest Missouri State University because I'm a triplet. And then I asked her the other week, I said, when is your spring break? Just to make sure we have the exact same spring break. And then she popped up and said that her spring break didn't start until March 17th through the 23rd or 24th. So when she told me that, I was like, are you serious? And I was very devastated just because of we planned this trip to Chicago, and then now, just because of her classes and everything, we wouldn't be able to go. Um, and so, good thing that I have online classes. I am doing a lot of my online class work for my during my original spring break. I will be doing my work. Explain this. So, for my spring break and her spring break. So, during my sister's spring break, the week after my spring break, I will be doing. Um, during my sister's spring break, I won't actually be doing college classes and stuff just because I do them online. So we're going to still take a trip to Chicago during her original spring break. And then I'm going to try to do everything during my my spring break. So I'm going to try to do everything a week ahead just so I'm not going to get behind and all that. So during my original spring break, I will be doing... Uh, homework and everything just to get caught up and then during her spring break we're still going to go to Chicago we are leaving March 20th I think we're leaving on the so we are leaving on the Tuesday 
So what we're doing is basically we're driving to Osceola since we live in Des Moines. Um, we're driving to Osceola and they have a train that takes you to Chicago. So we're driving there parking and our train leaves at 7 a.m. And it's about an hour drive to this train place. So we have to leave our house around 6 o'clock since our train is leaving at like 7.20, 7.40. I'm not for sure. But we have to leave early just so we have enough time and we can go get breakfast really quick. Um, we're taking a train to Chicago and it, the train takes about six hours to get to Chicago. Um, and for us driving, it would have took us five hours and if we would have stopped and stuff, about six hours as well. So it's not really that much of a deal, like a big deal. Plus, it's a nice thing we're taking a train because now we don't have to pay for parking at hotels and stuff. Excuse me, um, at hotels and stuff. Because if you guys live in Chicago or have been to Chicago, you guys know parking is very expensive there, and it's never cheap, and it never will be, honestly. So that's just another thing. So we're going to Chicago, then we're coming home. So we're coming home that Friday. So we're going to be in Chicago for four days, three nights, um, which I'm very, very excited about. Because, like I said, it is our first time going to Chicago, so it'll be really fun. Okay, so I just did my brows off camera just because I don't really like doing my brows on camera. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be working on my eyes anyways, and I'm still going to be talking to you guys. Um, so, so basically now, how I told you guys that I am going to Chicago in March, and then in May, with my family, me and my family are going to... Well, it's not really me and my family. It's my, more of my mom's side of my family. Plus, me and my mom and my sister. Um, my dad and my brother have to work. But, um, we're all going to Florida for my uncle's wedding reception. Because he got married in June. So, he's having his wedding reception. He lives in Florida. So, that's why we are going to Florida. Um, so, we're going to Fort Lauderdale, Florida for his wedding at the end of March or May. Which will be really, really fun because it'll be like a nice little vacation after school is all done. I'm really excited about this mini vacation or whatever. And so we're spending Monday. So the reception's Sunday. So we are spending, so we're spending three and a half days, two and a half. So we're spending three and a half days in Fort Lauderdale. And then on Tuesday, I believe it is, we are driving to Orlando which is going to be really fun we're driving to Orlando and we already have like a condo and everything um rented out and we are going to Disney World for a couple of days and this is be this is going to be my mom's and like it's going to be Oliver's first time going to Disney uh it's just going to be my sister my mom and I are going to Disney just because nobody else really wants to go to Disney uh, because of the prices. I don't blame them. But we're going to Disney and I'm super excited about it. So for the first day we're there, we're going to An or Magic Kingdom. Since we're only spending two days there. And then for the second day we're there, we're going to um, Animal Kingdom. Which is going to be really fun because I like animals and I like safaris and all that. So I'm very excited about Animal Kingdom. Same with Magic Kingdom. Because my favorite princess is Cinderella. So I'm so excited to see the castle. And my mom's a huge Mickey fan. Like, she's always been a huge Mickey fan. Uh, so she's super pumped. We're all just super pumped to go. And I have a countdown on my phone. So we, I have 19 days till Chicago. I have 86 days till Florida. So I'm really just excited about um, going to Florida in general. I've never seen a palm tree before, so the farthest I've ever been was Georgia. And the reason, we went to Georgia two spring breaks ago. It was really fun. We went to go see the same uncle that's actually getting married, who is having his wedding reception in Georgia. He moved to Florida. So we're just very excited to go to Florida just because it's our first time. And it's actually going to be our first time, too, on a plane. So I'm very excited but scared about that. So it would be our... It's going to be my sister and I's first time on a train. It's going to be my mom, my sister and I's, and my cousin's first time on an airplane. First time at Disney, first time in Chicago, Florida, all that. So it's a lot of first times, which I'm very excited for. So I'm really just excited for this whole trip. Basically, this whole summer is going to be really fun. It's going to be a lot of traveling, a lot of spending time with family, which I love spending time with family. 
definitely at a place that we've never been before. It's going to be a lot of fun. Because we get to explore and have those same memories together. Ask me what I'm doing with this eye. Because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with these eyes. But I did see this. It's Star Loop. Star looks and it is in the color rose gold, which I'm really excited to use. So I'm just going to use this on my eyes today and I'm very excited because it's very pigmented. I already have a swatch in my hand. That's how pigmented it is. Um, so that's just basically with my life right now. That is what it looks like on my eye. It's super pretty. So I'm just going to leave my eye open. It does dry super fast too. It maybe takes not even a minute to dry. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. So um, so that's basically, we are going on a lot of family trips, which I'm very excited about. And I'm trying to keep my eye open as much as possible just because I don't want it to stick together and dry like that. Now, if you guys live in Chicago or live in Florida and you guys have some really good restaurant recommendations or things to do, let me know down in the comments below because I need ideas on what to do. Just because I already have a list on what we're going to do, but it's just hard. I would like to know like something that not a lot of people do, but you do recommend or restaurants because I think that would be really cool as well. Just to get your guys' feedback on what kind of restaurants you guys like in your hometowns. Um, so when this dries, it gets really stiff. It looks like gold foil that I can just pull off my um, lid, which is very weird but interesting. If you guys have heard this brand Star Look, let me know because I haven't. This is my first time using this product. Just like that. And now I'm just going to be blending everything out into my crease. But what else is new with my life? Um, you guys didn't know, this is kind of like a fun fact, but you guys didn't know, I actually have a cat. He's two years old. He is a crazy little kitty. Uh, sometimes you guys see him in my videos just because he loves jumping on everything. So he loves jumping on my tables and he loves, when he sees the camera, he loves to smell it for some odd reason. Don't ask me why, but that's, he just loves to do that, so... I just find it a little weird. I also have another cat. He's not really mine. So this cat that I'm talking about, his name is Kovu. And uh, me and my sister actually adopted him from the Animal Rescue League here in Des Moines. Uh, so we adopted him. And then we have another cat. I'm just trying to look at this crease thing because it's really cool. Uh, so we have another cat and he's 11, I believe. I don't know. We got him when we were like five or six or not. We got him when we were like really young. Um, we got them at a garage sale because it was either you can get them for free at this one garage sale or they were going to put the, all the kitties down. And so we're like, we can't. Just every time someone says that they're going to put cats down, we feel really sad and like bad about the whole situation. And so we saved this cat and this was actually our first, or not our first cat, but our, um, second cat. Um... Our first, very first ever cat, he passed away a while ago. He was like 15. Um, so we've owned three cats and we've had three dogs. So three cats, three dogs that we've had like personally throughout our whole entire lives. And then my um, dog, she was a female and she had puppies. So it was actually really cool because she had puppies and we sold the puppies. We kept one. And then we had to put the mama down because she was so aggressive and everything. And we were trying to get her the help she needed, but she just wasn't accepting the help, kind of. And she was allergic to every food item possible, which was crazy. We got Coco. He is a uh, Cocker Spaniel. So we kept him. And then we have Smalls. He is a Cocker Spaniel Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix. Which is a lot Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix, which is crazy, but I love him to death. Don't know what I would do without him. And then we have Shadow, which is our oldest cat. Um, he is he's a fat kitty, I would say, um, but I love fat cats. And then we have Kofu, which is mine and my sister's cat. Um, he is two years old, and he is the most craziest. So he's like a miniature dog, honestly. He drinks water out of the faucet. He loves to play chase and like fetch. Um, he loves playing hide and go seek. So if you hide him, you uh, chase him to like a room or something, he'll hide in there. 
and then you'll run out and then you'll go find a hiding spot and then you yell his name and he'll come find you it's one of the cutest things it's crazy and then when I get my own place, which will be in a couple of years, I am going to take Kovu with me. I'm really liking this purple gold eye look. It's super pretty. But other than that, honestly, my um, family is really um, basically simple. Um, it's my mom and my dad. And then I have two other siblings, which is my sister, Maddie, and my brother, Tyler. And like I said, we are triplets. So we all share the same birthday, October 14th. Um, nothing really interesting there. We got those four animals. We live in um, Des Moines, Iowa, or at Tuna, Iowa, which is a good 15, 20 minutes from Des Moines. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready video with me. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. This was my first one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave today. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.